I had to pause because I was out getting out of the stream yard. Did you ask what the did did you eat breakfast meme is? No. But what Do is you know? That? <laughs> no. So there's an IQ test where you ask somebody, did you eat uh sorry, I screwed it up. You ask somebody if you didn't eat breakfast yesterday, how would you have felt? That's the question, right? Right. So wh what's the answer? Well, I didn't eat breakfast yesterday, so I wouldn't have felt no way. Oh, my God. Did you really just answer that way? So it's a hypothetical. It's You're supposed to answer, I would have felt hungry. You're not supposed to answer with your personal experience. Oh, well, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my God. I'm sorry I had to do that. <laughs> I'm a sun man. I, I tested like a sun it's, man. No, it's literally, it's a sun man test where you, you ask somebody, how would you have felt if you didn't eat breakfast yesterday? And if they say what they actually did, it means that they're not interpreting the question as a hypothetical. And then they... They just say what their personal experience is. Yeah, I'm a sub which, man, man. I told you. Yeah, that. it's it's yeah, but so that but that's what I meant. That's what that's what Cameron is doing. He's he's like that's a yo, I'm not I'm not I'm not getting killed. What do I care? Right. <laughs> and it's that's that's what it is across all of the Sun Man community. They're just like I it's don't DNA, look, man. It's DNA, man. I'm not it's getting killed. <laughs> Yep. What does it? It didn't. It didn't affect me. Yep. I don't care. I'm a sun man, man. I, I can't help, I can't I'm help so it. I'm so sorry. Man. I did put you. I almost sorry, like put man. you on blast there. Listen, man. Don't be sorry, but I can't. You ain't gonna like be on blast. I would have been bad if I'd have got it wrong. <laughs> Yo, but it's a it's a really popular <laughs> meme now where when people get into arguments with some people on Twitter, it's like all over the place. When I didn't people know are that. arguing What's with it called? black people. What is it called again? Say it again. What is it called? Did you eat um so the it's that's not really like a formal meme, it's kind of like in development, but it 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 started on 4chan because there's there's a whole long list of all these hypothetical types of questions that can give you a range of an IQ based on how somebody answers and that's that's the most popular one where if you if you googled um 4chan uh how would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast yesterday it brings up the whole long uh how like, would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast yesterday and then if you type 4chan it'll bring up if you go to image search on google it'll give you the whole long list of them there's how, another how did you how would you or how did you feel how how would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast yesterday if you didn't eat breakfast yesterday okay yeah Y'all yeah, racist. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, I put the link in the back chat. I put the link to it in the back chat. It, ex it explains so much about, like, when, like, like, when black people are on trial for shit and, the, like, the, there's, like, a guy ask, like, telling a kid, like, how would you feel if someone did this to you? And he'd be like, but nobody did that to me. Like, somebody <laughs> answered that in court. <laughs> That's a racist <laughs> question, man. I don't like yeah, that. Man. <laughs> salute the um salute the weather, man. Weather said left wing gliders are both wildly and naively attracted to sun behavior and completely perplexed by it. <laughs> it's a Harley Quinn Joker <laughs> dynamic. Salute. Uh yeah, they, they, yeah, they have no clue. It's funny how like how fucking gliders don't know anything about us. Man. You gotta mute yourself, man. <laughs> You gotta mute yourself, Hank. Man, um, I apologize. You're not here. Yeah, no, that was, I'm talking to Hank. Hank is like Hank is um, Hank, Hank, Hank got me, man. I'm I'm a son, man, man. I told y'all that, man. I'm a son, man, man. I can't. I I get y'all think I'm smart, man. I'm really, I'm really, I really got a low IQ, man. I'm, I got an IQ in the in the seventies, man. 
I'm just, I just, I just, I just know how I talk, man. <laughs> Yeah, you got mouth, you got mouthpiece. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, salute, um, salute, left, um, salute the um, weather, man. Um, salute the um, Austin Dover Court, man. He said, ah, aka the Sun Whisperer. Yeah, man. Unfortunately, let me see. Let me read this though, man. Let me read this um, this thing, man, right here, man. Um, The breakfast question, or how would you have felt if you hadn't eaten breakfast? How would you have felt if you hadn't eaten breakfast? Wow. Is a bait question that references a 4chan story of a grad student who allegedly performed IQ research on convicts at San Quentin State Prison. During the research, individuals with low IQ struggled to simulate the hypothetical situation in their mind, instead answering that they did have breakfast. Online, the question has been used in internet arguments as a conspicuous way to indicate that one's opponent is unintelligent while the posts have often been re referenced in means. So you gotta, Hank Hill, okay, let me, let me see this. Okay, let me see this. On June 15th, 2020, an anonymous 4chan user posted a screenshot of an email purportedly sent by Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot for, in which she repeated single sentences several times to emphasize her points. The post ignited a poll debate about intelligence with one anonymous user claiming to have been a graduate student sharing a story of a time they were part of an IQ research group and performed experiments on convicts at San Quentin State Prison. In a series of five posts, the user shared stories of individuals with IQ levels below 90 and 80 failing to perform mental tasks involving hypotheticals, recursion, and passage of time. The first post sub submitted by the user described individuals with IQ levels below 90 being unable to imagine how a hypothetical situation involving them not having breakfast and lunch yesterday would have affected them, instead responding that they had breakfast that day. So did I? How did I? How did I test? Did I test as a sun man or did I test as a glider? It, it was a sun man answer because you said I didn't eat breakfast yesterday, which is an answer. That's it's that's the same answer as saying I did eat breakfast yesterday. Also saying you see what you I mean because you're 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 acknowledging that breakfast was yesterday. So how you're how, acknowledging how, you're acknowledging yeah, what happened, not what would have happened. Okay, so explain that to me. Explain it to me. Um, explain to me um, like how how glider would or 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 somebody with a high IQ. So the so the high IQ answer is to say I would have felt hungry if I didn't eat breakfast, rather than saying with whether you did or didn't eat breakfast. I would have felt hungry if I didn't eat breakfast. Right. That's that's the high IQ answer. Here's the this is here's the I'll I'll give you the other one the recursion okay, cool. question. What? If you, if you have, um, all right. So there are um, a there's a street where all the houses go from green to yellow, from uh, low number to high number, uh, from one end to the other, uh, one to five. What color would the uh, number five house be? It's there's there's a street that goes from green to yellow, and then, low number to high number. Yes. 
from green to yellow. So green is the low number, yellow is the high number. Right. And then what what would call what would house number five, what color would house number five be? I probably got this wrong. I got it. You didn't say what color the houses were. You only said the street uh, colors. I said, oh. I said it's it's it goes from so it's it's a recursion thing, and it it caught it, when you're reading it, it's different from if you're just hearing yeah, it. I need to there, read there's it. a memory yeah. thing. You stutter, you stutter and shit. And I man, yeah, I'm it. a shitty talker, so yeah, but go ahead. Right, but go ahead, tell green, me. green is low, yellow is mm -hmm. high. Right. But now I'm I'm I mean I'm giving it away. It's like super easy at that That's point. Yellow. So hold yeah, on, say yeah. it again, say it one more time. So the colors of the houses go from green to yellow, and the um I, I screwed it up, but yeah, the I don't know. I said it right the first time. So I can say it, I'll I, say it. <laughs> they say they say don't blame you. I blame you. Yeah, you hey, fight with his fault. It's his fault, man. Hey, hey, he okay. here's, a, here's a simpler way. European, it's a simpler he, way. He, he's saying it in the European construct. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, it's hey, a cultural uh, thing. Uh, here's, a, here's a simpler way. Here's a simpler um, um, example. Let's say, let's, say, let's, say, let's say I left the house without my gun. How would I have felt? If you left the house without your gun, how would, how would you have felt? Yeah. You would have felt unsafe. There you go. That's that's a glider answer. The sun answer would be, I don't leave the house without my gun. <laughs> <laughs> or would be, um, I didn't leave. I, I did. I didn't leave the house without my gun. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. that's the sun answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got. So are you are you saying that suns have no empathy? Is that what you mean? We can't feel outside of ourselves. More like you can't concept. You can't conceptualize how someone else would feel. If the circum, if they were, if they were in those circumstances, it's okay. like cameras. The camera is not able to understand how someone else, how someone would feel if a murder, if the if the next door neighbor was a murderer, and he wouldn't think of actually telling the cops to actually handle the situation. He would, he's like, he would just stay quiet and not do anything. He would, he, yeah, he would move. He can't understand that, like that, that how that puts other people in jeopardy because he he only sees it within himself. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. I'm I'm. I definitely know that I have I'm a sun man, man. I'm I have sun man traits, man. I, I try to um you know tamp them down sometimes. But yeah, I'm a sun man, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah. I don't think this is more of an IQ thing. I think this is more of a um EQ thing. But it may be IQ. I guess it's intelligence. I guess it's intelligence. He said it's IQ test, but it seems more IQ. like a, a, a EQ emotional intelligence or like um you know like the empathy or or ability to see, you know see inside it or outside of yourself i, th I think it's I, I think it's iq because it's, it's being able to conceptualize things outside of yourself and to and try to come try to think about something let's try, try to think about a different try to think about a scenario in your head try to form a scenario in your head where things are operating in a way that you're not that may not happen to you but it could happen to someone else Right, and that's so why we easily kill people because we don't, or we easily like, 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 like I said, like all the little kids get was hit with straight bullets and no yeah. one cares because it's like you just don't, you don't care. <laughs> you don't care at a core level. Like you could care, like your religion could make you care, or your um, you know what I'm saying, like some kind of like cult or something like, or if you're like in the, the military or your cops. But just your baseness and strip away all that other stuff in your soul, yeah, you don't give a fuck because you don't have no you, you got low empathy. Not no empathy, but low empathy. Is that right, Hank? It's I'm sure there's there's a blend of everything. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of the emotional part for sure. I think as as far as the yeah, the morality goes, mm -hmm. definitely more of the immoral thing. Um, I I have the exact language of the question pulled up. If you want me to try that, uh, the recursion thing again. Well, did you have it pulled up? Can you put yeah, the back yeah. check? I'll, I'll read it exactly. Read it. I'll read it I'll exactly read it. as said. All right. Imagine I'll rather a, read it, man, because you stuttering, man. You making me you you fucking I, me up, man. I can read this. I can I can read if I'm looking because I was doing that from memory. Uh, that, 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 that. That, that. 
All right. Imagine a man. <laughs> All right. You ready? Imagine, Go ahead, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Imagine a picture of an arrow colored in gradient form from yellow to green, following the direction of the arrow. Imagine a one-way residential street with ascending house numbers, with the lowest number being at the entrance of the street and the highest number being at the exit. If you mapped the arrow onto the street, what color would house number one be? From yellow to green. In the area, there's a gradient, and it's from... Uh, say it again, because this is probably a trick question, man. Green, yeah, I'm, I'm, simple. Not simple. Yes, this is a trick question, man. You try to trip the sun, man, man. You know you, you know you can't. You know you. <laughs> yeah, this is how this how this how we took over the world, man. No, I mean, yeah. I, I well, I said yellow the first time, motherfucker, but that's probably wrong. No, I realized I yellow. realized as I was reading that that there's a lot of words in that description, and it's just it it probably is better to read it, but I I don't know. I, I said yellow. I said yellow. I said, yellow. I said yeah, yellow, yellow, but but, yeah, but yellow. go ahead, go ahead. What, what you're right. Mean? You're right. It is yellow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's you have me, you yellow have me, to green, you and one me, is the lowest <laughs> would be yellow in that case. Yeah. And I, when I, I first yellow. said it from memory, I said green to yellow. So I understand the the trick part there. I wasn't trying to trick you. I just didn't remember it from yeah. like verbatim. Yeah, because so. you said ascending order, so yeah, it had to be. Yellow. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to fool anyone. Yeah, man. But anyway, yeah. anyway, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you, 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 um, you came up here, man, and you, you, you got the research that you want. Now you go back to 4chan and tell them, like, damn, even Ock Nation is a sun man, man. <laughs> and God damn it, no. I am, man. I'm proud to be one, man. It, it is, it is very funny how quickly you answered the breakfast question, though, because mm-hmm. usually, like, I've only, I, I've asked people that online black people online mm. like on twitter like people arguing about uh per capita like black people who can't understand per capita and arguing about like cr- like crime rates because you know how black people will always try to be like well white people do 75 percent of the crime not knowing that you know you like the, welfare. The, it's like welfare they'll say but it's more white people on welfare yeah when right. it's really like for if you take the percentage of white people is very low and and you take the percentage of black people. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. So, yeah, when those arguments come up, I've asked people, like, what, you know, what? how'd you feel if you didn't eat breakfast yesterday? And then it's usually just an argument of sorts. It's not like a conversation. But you just, like, rolled right into it and said, no, I didn't eat breakfast yesterday. That's some some sorcery right there, man. I don't think I said I didn't eat breakfast yesterday. I said said something else. Somebody roll, 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 roll back the tape. I didn't say I, I did I eat breakfast yesterday. I said something. I didn't say that. You said I, said I don't eat breakfast. No, I said something else. What did I say, guys? I said it's something. Not, I wouldn't else. know because I didn't eat breakfast. Something yeah, that was, was yeah. No, I think I said something I else than that. Breakfast. I don't even think I said that. <laughs> it was that. Hold on, man. I gotta find out what I, I gotta roll back the tape. What does the chat say? This guy's trying to. This guy's trying <laughs> to. Um, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> He trying to make me. He trying he said, to sun Ash, me, man. Oh, no, because I fly said you said you don't usually eat breakfast. Yeah, something like that. That's why I really don't think there's that much credence to it as an <laughs> IQ thing. Because I definitely, I don't think there's any chance you could have like anything close to the IQs that they're describing in this, where they say that that's a sign of somebody having below eighty-five IQ, and that's it. Sounds that can't it, it be the case. Like a, I'm, it I'm, sounded more like. Sorry, I'm not trying to saying, kiss, kiss your ass or anything, but you got to have Hank, at least a hundred. Hey Hank, it sounded it sounded like a it sounded like a, a self preservation answer. Because like, like you guys, because like if you ask a question that's if you ask a question that's so, that someone may perceive as being digging in a little bit too deep, they may answer in a way that that, that kind of covers their ass when it is unnecessary when they don't necessarily have to. Yeah, so the context it's, 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 of how of when the question's asked definitely changes everything. I, I really yeah. don't think it means that much, but it just on paper, it just sounds funny and it, it's definitely applicable to just the general 
idea of how like Cameron, that's why I, I mentioned it in terms of like in relation to Cameron, where he can't conceptual, he like the, the actual idea behind the question definitely manifests with somebody who can't conceptualize what leaving a serial killer in your community actually means in what the reverberations of that are, you know? And he like, he's like legitimately demonstrating that he just doesn't, he doesn't think about that. That's, that doesn't even come into his reality of, you know, this could, that's, this could be dangerous. <laughs> that's like when I, that's like when I said earlier that some people don't, they don't cooperate with the police because that takes commitment. And that takes actually putting that takes putting your neck on the line, potentially putting your neck on the line. If people were to find out that you were actually talking to the cops to give information, even if you were giving information that could lead to that lead to solving a, a crime, or even you know it, it so, you know having forbid a child was killed, or or even worse, like I said, is the worst. But a child getting killed, yeah, it's like you're, you're, they say, they'll take it as yeah. oh he's a you're 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 going outside of the norm for us. That's yeah, that's a really good point, and also it also opens them up to the possibility of them being on the hook for something i think that was another part that you included in that yeah that was a good point that you were making. i just so, checked it i just checked i did say i did say that damn that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> the, no, that, that is a good point because they like they, i think i think part of the not wanting to snitch also has to do with like the time horizon kind of thing where you know you do you know the the time horizon limit limiter on black iq where they don't like if you say to a bunch of like if you say to a bunch of uh white kids i can give you one lollipop today you talking about he's three talking lollipops about, i got it days. i'm gonna pull that up let me pull that up that's called the um delay gratification the, um, gratification okay. deferment yeah yeah. yeah and and snitching on the cops is almost like it's it's like the inverse of that it's like um the opposite what's the opposite of gratification like punishment inferment or some punishment like invitation kind of you know where it's like if i talk to this cop for long enough he might punish me eventually you know, I'm not going, I don't see them as a neutral entity in this moment on this one well, issue. Well, no, it's no, it's, it's not that it's not that they were worried about the cops punishing them. They worry about re re receiving retaliation from their neighborhood for, for being found out that they're actually telling that they're actually. Told, oh yeah. Yeah. Police. Even if, like I said, even if it, even if it comes to solving a crime where a child was killed, they were afraid of, t they don't want to talk to the cops because they don't want to be, because they don't want the reputation of, they don't want the reputation of having a snitch, which that's not what a snitch is. But you also, no, but Marcy, you gotta also recognize that a lot of things are counterintuitive. So, like, you may think that that's the reason, yeah. But the reason may be what he said. But some people are just presenting, like, like it's kind of like, um, I mean, it's a lot of things in life that are counterintuitive. They, the, the the what people say is the reason is not always the reason. Like we think something is done for a certain reason when it's really done for another reason. Wait. It's like, all right, like like if I if we play ball and I slap you on your ass, somebody could say, oh man, that guy's a faggot. He just slapped that guy's on the ass at somebody who's never seen basketball. But really, I'm slapping you on your ass because you made a good play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if somebody yeah. who sees that, like, has never seen basketball game, they're like, yo, that guy's a fag. He just slapped that guy on his ass. Like, I would never slap you on your ass anywhere else in life. Like, as Isn't soon it? as the game over, I would never slap you on your ass. But, but during the but game, that, I'd be like, good play, man, good play. But that response but that response is actually projection because they're actually they're actually saying how they they're actually saying how they would feel. If how they would feel if they did the same thing, they would feel as though they thought they were gay, but they don't want to. But they don't want to come to that conclusion. So they'll pass off and say, "Oh, you're gay for touching his ass after during the, during the layup game." Yeah. That's, called, that's called projection. No, I'm just talking about for somebody who didn't know nothing about that. Oh yeah, no, um, yeah, yeah. No, I, I Hold on, I just I just remembered what I was thinking about with the gratification deferment. They they will immediately have the reputation of being a snitch and that gives them an immediate reaction they don't understand that 
if they delayed the gratification of not having killers in their community and and you know right. that's like a that's long term yeah. unseen thing that's where what, exactly. you're never gonna see that and it's it's like a it's long abstract building it's strategy. abstract it's abstract yeah it's abstract where you, yeah. you you're gonna build over time a community that has less killers in it if you actually snitch but if you snitch you're going to immediately be recognized as a snitch and everyone's going to be yeah. like yo yeah. fuck you yeah so let me let me read like, some of these super chats right yeah. quick i want to stay on this topic but i want to read some of these stupid chats get a liar braun book on africa says original afro oral languages lack words for nuance hypotheticals abstract more reasoning etc and he liked black <laughs> Listen, we 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 done that. We done that video, man. That that's so true. Like, um, yeah, we did that video, African languages, man. Um, th 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 yeah, like we we wouldn't invent something with um um all those words because we don't operate. It, it, how would you invent that if if you're just if it, if you're in a homogeneous sun environment with no gliders around, no tigers around, no umbrellas around? We would never come up with certain things because no one would come up with it. And then if they did, how would they survive? Like we would kill them. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> we would kill that person. So it's yeah. like, yeah, I can I can imagine that. I I I I believe that um a lot of the um early African languages didn't have didn't have um a lot of words in it. Yeah, definitely believe that. Um, a lot of probably didn't it didn't have inches and feet. We probably didn't have left or right. We probably had just this way and that way. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not even trying to be funny, man. Um, get he says get a lie. Braun also said Africans didn't have any problem that gliders were smarter, but smart Africans learned to play glider guilt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because we we. Yeah, I mean all that's all that seems seems true, man. Um yeah, all that seems like it could be true. Um salute to um Sebastian Kim. He says there was a son man who stole a car that crashed into oncoming traffic and killed someone and got life in prison. He then asked why he why I got life for a car crash. <laughs> yeah, that's a I mean example. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> I mean, listen, man. Has anyone um, ever tried to do this, walk walk a sun man step by step as to why what they did resulted in them getting punished? I'm telling you, there's there's a court case where the judge was talking to a dude and he's going back and forth. <laughs> Actually, it, it might have just been a, a screenshot of a meme that I saw, but it was like the the kid in court and the judge saying like, "How would you feel?" And maybe it didn't actually happen, but I'm sure it's essentially. Yeah, that's the guy. Like this is the guy that I was. Going, over. This is the guy. This is the guy that 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 I was that that, that I, I was um I was going to tell y'all about. Yeah, we we did this video get Aaliyah Braun. Um, we did that video, yeah. We did get a Leah Braun like um last year. Um yeah, we did him, we know him, we know who he is. Let me let me show you guys. Um <laughs> get a Leah Braun. Yeah, he uh <laughs> our next speaker. Eugene Valberg received his PhD from the State University of New York at Buffalo. And you know when you see this motherfucker, you know it's about to go bad for the sun, man. <laughs> um, what's his name? This isn't Charles Murray. This Yo, is this, is, this is the man. This is Jared Taylor. This is a guy who talked Taylor, to Rashad yeah. Rishi, and he was like, how is IQ affected by atmosphere? And he's like, the atmosphere is everything in the, the world, so that's how it would affect IQ. And he's like, the atmosphere replies, uh, uh, re regards the weather. He's like, I'm not sure what you mean by that. And he was, he was like, just eloquently destroying Rashad yeah. Rishi. And well, this guy grew up around tigers, he grew up in Japan around all, tigers. yeah, he did Japan, yeah. 
So he, he's, he, he, he's he's used to being the low IQ one in the room. Salute to um Eric S, man. He says salute to Eric S coming through once again, man. Um salute to um yeah, um 